So a couple weeks back, I posted a video on the driest symbols I'd ever made. They were part of my new series, the Foundation Series. And I offered them up as a example of symbols that are way too dry for my taste. Pretty dead sounding, pretty clunky sounding. And I alluded to the fact that I would be taking these symbols and working on them further and uh, trying to get them to the place where I feel like they had enough airiness and enough complexity and life to them so that they would be something that I would feel proud of putting my name on uh, as a symbol maker. And so here we are in this video, I will show you the result of doing just that. So those blanks originally started out very, very heavy. And since the design of the foundation series uh, originally included a fully unlathed top, I was removing a ton of weight from the bottom. Uh, and this can be okay for some reason, for some uh, purposes, but you have to be mindful of basically hammering your shape and then lathing a ton of weight off because you actually lathe through the compressed bronze and you get to a place where the, the metal is a lot more soft and it's a little bit more mushy. You basically lathe past that compressed material into softer material, which is uh, by nature a little bit more dead sounding. It's not as hard and brittle uh, as the compressed outer portions are, which is really where the sustain and the sound comes from. So with those two particular rides, I had shaved them fairly thin. They were medium thin in weight, uh, but they were just really dead sounding. Couple that with the fact that these blanks that come from Canada have a really thick crust on them because the foundry does not use a salt wash, which the salt wash knocks back a good bit of that oxide crust. So uh, really thick oxide crust plus lathing through a ton of weight on the bottom just had those symbols sounding pretty daggum dead. So I've done the extra work and it's here. They're here and I think they sound freaking awesome. I'm really looking forward to hearing what you guys think. Uh, but first I will cut over and show a little bit of the lathing process of just taking off that crust. You'll notice that in these clips, there's not a lot of uh, streams of bronze flying off because that crust is so hard that it just kind of flakes off and chips off. It comes off almost in like a dust. Uh, it really eats through the carbide bits that I use to, uh, the carbide cutting tools that I use to cut through uh, material on the lathe. So you've got to really get through it before you can even start removing weight. So uh, let's cut over to that and then we'll play these symbols in their current state and you can let me know what you think. All right, so now that we're here, uh, you saw a little bit of the process, but I did some extra things after the fact. Uh, I wanted to kind of get some stiffness back into the symbol once I got the material removed. I also wanted to burnish the underside to kind of compress and harden that outer portion that had been laid away so much. I did a little bit more hammering too, uh, but I got them these symbols into a place where I'm really proud of how they sound. Uh, and I think they, they, they maintained the foundation characteristic, 
uh, but they but they have more life. So so there's going to be a version of these symbols in the future of this series that doesn't have uh, the visible unlathed crust. It might have just a scratch pass on top or like uh, some skip lathing on top. So you see some crust, but you're actually going to see some raw bronze cutting through. And I think that's going to be necessary on these on these models moving forward. The, the ones that I originally made uh, for Jonathan Green and the ones that are in the video, uh, the Foundation Series video I posted about a month ago, those symbols, we wanted them, he wanted them super dry, he wanted them with that full unlathed crust. And they actually kind of had some magic to them, to be honest. They hit this perfect balance point where they could crash, but they, and they were smoky and dark and dry, but they weren't too choked. Uh, and so those were kind of the magic symbols that he ended up getting. And as I started making the production run, I realized, okay, I got an issue here because these things are a little bit too choked uh, unless I really get them into a very particular space. The ones that I put out, I was proud of. So I never put out any of the foundations that I wasn't uh, willing to put my name on it and uh, proud of. So there's a couple out there that have that full unlathe crust, and there will be more in the future that have the fully unlathe crust, but uh, I'm going to tweak the design on that a little bit. And there's another video coming about the tweak to the Foundation Series symbols. So, without more yapping, let's play these things. You guys let me know what you think. All right, so that is the driest symbols I ever made fixed. <laughs> so let me know what you think in the comments below about these two symbols and keep an eye out for more videos of all things symbol related. This channel is more and more becoming just a hub for symbol material, symbol, symbol con content, and uh, I could not be more happy about it because it's the thing that I love to do most. So drop a comment below. Uh, like the video if you like it, subscribe if you want, hit the bell if you want notifications, and keep an eye out for the next video. My name is Timothy Roberts. Thanks for watching.